हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अनदर वीडियो और बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ओस्टियोब्लास्ट एंड ओस्टियोसाइट एंड ओस्टियोक्लास्ट सो व्हाट इज द ओस्टियोब्लास्ट द सेल दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बोन ओके सो इट इज अ मोनोन्यूक्लेटेड सेल्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द बोन फॉर्मेशन एंड मिनरलाइजेशन ऑफ द बोन so it is responsible for the synthesis of collagen fiber as well the bone proteins so all the bone proteins and collagen fiber synthesis by this cell okay so it the cells thought to be derived from the multi potent and differentiated mesenchymal cells or alternatively differentiated mesenchymal cells okay so these cells mostly found in the perivascular area so these cells form the osteoblast and it has a high level of the alkaline phosphate phosphatase alkaline alkaline phosphatase so please remember any cells that forming the bone that has a high level of the alkaline phosphatase high level of the alkaline phosphatase and cells that degrading or resorbing the bone that has high level of the acid phosphatases phosphatases so in some disease okay in that the bone formation is more in that condition we can see that serum alkaline phosphatases increases and some disease that said as in that we can see the high level of the acid phosphatases in that there is a high resorption of the high level resorption of the bone okay so this is the basic structure or histopathological section of the bone so this is the osteoid tissue okay in osteoid tissue surrounding the periphery you can see these are the osteoblast these are the osteoblast and within the osteoid tissue the entrapped cells that present within the lacunae that cells called as a osteocytes so basically osteoblast are osteoblast are active cells and osteocyte is inactive cell so please remember one thing so there is a very important function of the osteocyte that is in the bone very important function of the osteocyte that is it has a canaliculi it has a canaliculi so that it has a canaliculi so that it sends the pressure from the surface of the bone okay pressure from the surface of the bone on the basis of that on the basis of that it give the signal to the either osteoblast osteoblast or osteoblast or osteoclast osteoclast so osteocyte decide whether it gives the signal if the pressure is more then it resorb the bone so the osteocyte give the signal to the osteoclast so osteoclast start to the resorb bone okay and if there is a requirement of the formation of the bone then it gives the signal to the osteoblast and there is a formation of bone so the shape or remodeling of the bone decided by the osteocyte it sends the pressure and give the signal to the osteoblast and osteocyte so this this is the fibrovascular stoma in which you can see that these are the fibroblast these are the blood vessels and numerous collagen fiber okay this is the osteoid matrix so this is the starting of the bone formation okay so this these are the osteoblast that rim around the osteoid tissue that rimming called as a osteoblastic lining or plumb of the osteoblast so here you can see this is the osteoid tissue this is the osteoid tissue so you can see these are the osteocyte that present within the this is the osteocyte that present within the lacunae so osteocyte basically inactive cells the size of the osteocyte smaller than the osteoblast and osteoblast has a larger nucleus more number of the rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, ribosome mitochondria and golgi apparatus okay because it's a active cells and osteocyte is inactive cells 
okay so these are the osteocytes these osteocytes present within the lacunae present within the lacunae and these are the osteoblasts they are lining the osteo tissue okay basically these cells forming the bone these are the entrapped cells these are the entrapped osteoblasts okay now these cells called as a osteocyte this is the another video in that uh, the, the photo in that you can see the osteo tissue so this blue color is osteo tissue hole is osteo tissue okay these are the lining small cells these are the lining cells of the osteo tissue these are the osteo blast these are the entrapped cells these are the entrapped osteoblast now the these called as a osteocyte okay this is the ground section of the bone in which you can see the osteoin so you can see this these are the these are the haversian canals haversian canals okay these haversian canals attach to the one another by a canal that canal called as a workman's canal workman's canal okay and these haversian canals surrounded by the concentric lamina okay so this Haversian canal and concentric lamina called as a osteon. That is the basic unit of that is the basic unit of bone. That is the basic unit of bone. Haversian canal has blood vessels, nerves, okay, and from that blood get the nutrition or blood supply. Now this is the osteoclast. So any cell that has clast these are the resolving cells okay so osteoclasts are multinucleate cells these cells has a numerous nucleus okay responsible for the bone resorption formed by the fusion of the precursor cells that is the circulating monocyte so circulating monocyte so many monocyte fuse to each other and form the osteoclast osteoclast okay and these are the osteoclast these are the osteoclast okay so this is the fibrovascular stoma in which you can see the blood vessels collagen fiber fibroblast okay and these are the osteoclast these are the multinucleated you can see the blue color nucleus blue color many nucleus within the cells okay these are cells these are the cells that called as a osteo Clast. So these cells present within the lacunae. Okay, these are the suppose this is the osteoclast that has many nucleus. Okay, present in the lacunae. So this is the resolving front of the this is the resolving front of the osteoclast. Okay, so it form a lacunae. That lacunae called as a housips lacunae. Housips housips lacunae. Okay, in which osteoclast present. So this is about the osteoblast, osteocytes, and osteoclast. Thank you so much. Please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.